Okay, Digital Russ here. So first, let's get used to the remote a little bit. Notice that all uh, remotes these days have an up, down, left, and right button near the top. They're also uh, universal remotes, so they'll also control your TV. Underneath the up, down, left, right, and center OK button, or enter, you will find the uh, buttons for various functions like changing input, mute, menu, and your guide info. The menu structure is a little bit different than your VCR or your regular TV, so it requires more buttons for the up, down, left, and right to navigate all the menus. But uh, once you do it a couple of times, you'll get used to it. Now this box has not been rescanned since June 12th. So it's not seeing anything on my previous channel, 55. So now we have to go into the menu. So press the menu button. And that's going to bring up the main menu. Scroll down to the settings. I already pressed number 5. And we're going to do a channel scan. Go ahead and begin. This is a full channel scan. It, it wipes out everything that's in the memory and just memorizes what it finds from the antenna. This is going to take a few minutes, so we're going to do this in real time and let you watch the whole thing. Just let it finish and then read the instructions at the bottom and press the menu button to cancel the scan but you'll see the channels found down at the bottom how many channels you find. I'm scanning this at my house in Wendell which is on the east side of Raleigh about 16 miles. So down here you know I'm gonna get a few channels that you might not get on the western side of Raleigh or the north side of Raleigh so it just depends on where you live on how many channels you're gonna pick up. Basically the box has to go through, seek every single channel in its uh, memory, and it looks to see if there's a digital signal on the air. If it finds a digital signal, it puts it into the database and then keeps going and looking for the next digital signal. It's not looking for analog signals or anything, it's just looking for the digital TV signals that it finds right now. Now it has finished, it found 22 channels here at uh, my house. So now, if you'll notice the updating in the upper right corner of the screen, that's actually going through looking at each channel and reading the program guide information. This particular box tells you what's on now and what's coming up on the next show. You can also hit the info button and get more information on what is coming up. Okay, now let's pick up the antenna. Let's go down to the settings. Let's go down to antenna signal strength meter, which is number four here and the signal strength meter will come up and show you how strong the signal is. I'm turning the antenna very slowly left and peaking the antenna. Now I go past the peak and just it starts going down, bring it back up. When it gets to the maximum rating, that's where you want to keep it. Now let's find a long distance signal only using the signal meter. I'm pointing the antenna east to see if I can get Washington and Greenville. We start out we have very little signal the antennas coming around and it's kinda weak but 23 25 percent that's about the maximum. Bring the antenna back gone past the peak there we go Coming back up, that's about as strong as it's going to get. Let's see, getting out of the menu, if we actually got a picture. USO, and there it is. Comes home. 
It's a little weak. If the wind blows and it rains, it will break up. But there's the picture from Little Washington. Washington, Greenville, Newburgh. Now let's go back to configuration and go back up to uh, channel scan. Now let's see if we can find a PBS station because if you noticed in the original we didn't have one. I'm going to select a second function which adds channels. Anytime you turn your antenna, you want to add channels. You don't want to do a rescan because a rescan will wipe out everything. But an add channel will just find new channels, add it to the database, and you'll still keep the old uh, uh, channel line up that whichever direction the antenna was pointing. So notice we started out with 22 channels here. And let's let it search through it just found three more channels. So I just found the PBS station in uh, Greenville. Also at my house I can get the uh, PBS station and uh, run at Rapids as well as normally I can get Chapel Hill but they're uh, not really making it today. But my antenna is pointing east right now and even though it's pointing east I'm still getting the local Raleigh stations just fine. On my, this is an outdoor antenna. So let's let the channel scan finish and we'll see what we got. And again, you see it's updating the program guide. Program guide is, is what tells the box exactly what to tune in. Even though we're not on uh, a particular channel, it's still telling you the old channel number, so it keeps you from being confused. So as soon as it gets through, let's look down and see what three channels we gained. And there you are. I picked up channel 25 in Greenville. So there you have it. So navigating the menus on the remote is not that hard. You're not going to break it with the remote and if it messes up, just start over. Just play with it a little while and you'll get the hang of it very quickly. Uh, it's uh, not that uh, hard to do. Don't throw your instruction manual away because you will need it to program the remote so that it will control your TV. It's much more handy to have one remote to turn the TV on and off as well as the converter box than having a handful of or a table full of remotes. So that's all there is to tuning in channels with a digital set top box. Uh, use a signal meter, keep it peaked up. If you're having troubles during bad weather or stuff, you can use that meter to make sure that your antenna is peaked up. I hope you have as good success as I did. This is Digital Russ. Bye.